I've got the Google Pixel 4a and I recently showed you how to install Majisk to gain root access to this device. And if you followed that, then you likely have noticed that if you try to bypass safety net checks, you're going to get a false message. And that's just because the way things are set up by default it's not actually going to bypass the latest checks that Google is currently doing for safety net. But if you have this current setup with a Google Pixel 4a, an unlocked bootloader, and Majisk installed, then I can show you how to bypass safety net for this setup. This is going to require us to go into Majisk and then go into the Downloads section. You can either search or just scroll down a bit. We're going to look for the Majisk Hide Props config. We're going to tap that Download button right there and then we're going to tap on Install. You're going to see a log of what's actually happening right here. And at the bottom, you're going to get a reboot fab. So let's just go ahead and tap on that reboot button and wait for the Google Pixel 4a to reboot back into Android. Now, this current setup actually works right now. I can't guarantee that this setup will work in the future with all specific updates. As of right now, this is the current way to, this is the current workaround to bypass Google's safety net checks. But this is a, and you probably know, this is a cat and mouse game where the developers change something, Google finds out what it is, patches it, and then continues that way. And it just goes back and forth. So once we have downloaded and install that. We can go into Majisk and check that from the modules section. We just want to make sure that the circle has a check in it and that we have rebooted after installing and enabling it, which we just did. Now just downloading and enabling that Majisk module isn't actually going to have help you bypass safety net. We have to trigger what we just installed with a command prompt. So you can download a number of different terminal apps in the Play Store. I'm just going to grab the Termux application. You can open that up. And we're going to type out su space dash c space props. We're going to press enter. That should bring up a super user request right there. We're going to grant that. And then we have the menu right here, which gives us a number of different things to choose from. We're going to select number two, the force basic key attestation and then press enter. So we do want to enable it. Our current value is set to the pixel 4a. We're going to bring this back. So the default, if we just choose yes, this is going to set the option to the Nexus 5 which is perfectly fine. You can do that and it will bypass safety net. There are some who actually prefer that with the phone looks like a newer device instead of an older Pixel 5. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to type F so that we can pick from fingerprint list. Then we're going to go and look through this list 
we're going to select Google, which in this case is 7. And we're just going to pick the Google Pixel 3a in this case, which is designated with 20. So now you can see that we are going to use the following value in our, in our mod that we're doing. We just changed it to the Pixel 3a. So we like that, we're going to type Y. Now we're going to see the results of this specific mod. And we're just going to go ahead and reboot for this mod to take effect. So it's a little complex, a little more complicated than a, a specific root application where you can just open it up and toggle a button. But you can see the menu is very clean, very easy to follow. And the goal is to just change the device. Again, we could have selected the default one, which is the Nexus 5. And we can still go back into the Termux application, run that SU-C props command and change that to the Nexus 5 or the Pixel, Pixel 2, any of those. With the device booted back up, we can go into Majisk and you can try to see if you bypass safety net or not, but you're likely going to see the false message still show up even though that is enabled and we have done all that via the terminal. We're still going to want to go into the settings application and we're going to need to enable Majisk Hide. So remember, that module that we just had installed was for this Majisk Hide feature. So we can go back into the main screen after we have enabled Majisk Hide. If you want, you can do a refresh. You can force close the app if you feel necessary. But we're just going to do a, another check with safety net so that you can see that we are now bypassing Google's safety net check on the Google Pixel 4a with Majisk.